All right, so hopefully you watched the video of this next person because he's a real life person that's important and he's an um, uh, um, Olympic athlete too. I believe that's what it said, but he's um, an actual real life athlete. So here on Tuesday, May 10th, 2005, 17 year old Adi Alifuddin Hussein, or Hussan, or Hussein, won the boys shot putt gold medal for the fourth consecutive year. His winning throw was 16.43 meters, and a shot put putter throws a ball at an inclination of 45 degrees to the horizontal. The following data represents approximately height, the approximate heights for a ball thrown by a shot putter as it travels a distance of X meters horizontally. And then they give you a table, and then they say, what is the height of the ball if it travels 80 meters? Now, hopefully, again, you watch that video because that was that video shows actually what shot putting is. And you actually can see like how they spin around and then they throw it off and everything. And it hopefully as figures out them, um, they get the, the furthest distance. And so they can win a medal or stuff of that sort. So hopefully you actually watch that video. But if you didn't um, go back and watch it, because it was really cool. And again, videos are a chance for you just to stop working and actually look. Have a, a chill time a little bit. All right. So with this. We're going to go ahead and take a look at doing all this part, but with it, I'm going to just let you know now, when it comes to this part of the problem, we're not doing the whole page again. We're not doing one through um, one, two, three, and four like we did on number one. Example one, all we're doing is putting the numbers in. So we're doing this first part, putting the data in. We're going to go ahead and do this part right here. And then we jump straight down to this part down here to determine future data. So again, Right now, we don't need this part. That's when we start graphing it again. So right now, we don't need it. So we're going to do the stat. We're going to do this part here, the regression. And then we're going to jump straight to the bottom of the paper. So here, when it comes to this, we're going to go ahead and put the numbers in. So again, when we put our numbers in, we're going to hit stat, edit, so number one. And to clear this out, we go up to L1. You hit the clear button and enter. So don't hit delete. If you hit delete, it's going to get rid of L1 completely and we have to put it back in. So here, again, we're going to go to L2, hit clear and enter. All right, then put the numbers in. So again, you have your data there. Make sure it matches up so that nothing is thrown off. So now we're going to the next part and we're going to find the regression equation. So again, here, we're going to hit stat. We're going to go to the right. We're still doing quadratic, so number five. We're going to do the whole down, down, down vars part. So go down three times. Hit the vars button to the right. Hit one, one, and then calculate it. Ooh, no, no, no. Sorry. Clear. So set to the right. Quadratic regression, number five. Go down, 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 vars to the right, one, one, and then calculate it. And it should give you that equation. So sorry, you should have that equation already. So again, we're going to write the equation down. And again, we round two decimal places, two places after the decimal. And again, it's your responsibility to remember how to round. So if you go, need to go Google it, Google it to make sure you know how to round correctly. And again, for each one of these, we're only rounding two decimal places. It is very vital that you do that because one of the works that we're going to do later on, if you don't round it correctly, you're going to get a bad grade on it completely. All right, so we have the equation there. And again, if you did the VARS part like you're supposed to, when you go to Y equals, it's there. And again, y equals has to be there in order to do this last part to find the future data. So we do second quit. And again, we're going to do y1. And here it says 80 meters. So you put 80 right there. So again, we do uh, second quit. We do bars. Go to the left. Sorry, the right. Go 1, 1. Parentheses 80, and then close it. And 
And again, round two decimal places for now. Two decimal places, round it for two decimal places now. And the other thing I'm going to say is, you must follow what's going on in the table. So they're asking for the heights here. That's what we're trying to find. All your heights here are all whole numbers. Now, since all those are whole numbers, that means your answer must be a whole number. So here, that means our answer needs to be a whole number right here. So here we're going to say that's 14 meters. And again, make sure you write a sentence out, and then you're done. So the height of the ball the ball, sorry must be 14 meters high for the ball to travel Eighty meters. And you can clean that up if you want to. So you can say the height of the ball must be fourteen meters in order for it to travel eighty meters. So that's it. That's all you got to do.